Alrighty, everybody, hello and welcome to the Spy Party Summer Cup for 2022. Uh, joining me today is Slappy Davis. Hey, happy to be here. Yeah. Uh, we've got two exciting matches ahead of us. First, we're going to be casting, uh, and excuse me if I'm butchering the name, but Lavanuke versus Beanie, followed by the Dutch showdown Nebula versus Sour. Sauerkraut. Yeah, and this is gonna be interesting because uh, for the first set, um, uh, uh, La I have not seen uh, Lavanuk play, um, but he's going up, uh, I think it's he, I could be wrong about that, I actually actually checked that, but they are going up against Beanie, who has been like a pretty consistent, like I would say like upper, let's say third or upper quarter in the competitive scene player, who's mm -hmm. been just very solid and then every once in a while will get a big break versus um, another player so it's a very interesting test of how they've come up because i think they're they're relatively new for being someone that's been in many as many competitive events i want to say yeah it feels like beanie's been around for a while and has always been i think right on the cusp of like and turning in the like really highly ranked i think or, or at least i feel um good action tests like solid understanding of the game a lot of games under their belt so i think uh on paper beanie is probably set to to win this uh match but lavanuk i think a little bit newer to the scene but has been playing and, and getting involved um a good bit so probably um you know more more recent activity than beanie so it should be a good match agreed and then we have uh, nebula versus sauerkraut two uh kind of practice partners at, at this point they play against one another uh, very often, so it'll be really exciting to see how the kind of meta between the two pans out on a more public stage in a in a in a competitive tournament. And they're both extremely good. Yeah, no, and it's also really fun to see people that are practice partners go into a competitive mode after a while because it, there might be inexplicable plays that are in there just because of their personal meta. Yeah, yeah, it'll be really fun to see. But let's go ahead and get started with the first match: uh, Lavanuk versus Beanie. Get that loaded up. Okay, whoops, I hit the wrong button there. Okay, I have it loaded up. It looks like I have Beanie as plain twin on Spy, if you see the same. Same. Yep. Cool. Let's get started in three, two, one, playing it. So and Beanie is a pretty like like flexible, solid Spy that um, uh, uh, if they fall behind, they will tend to go for two aggressive things, relatively speaking, like at once, because they're like, okay. I will now switch into aggressive mode because I've been pressured. And that's sometimes it means their play is unpredictable, um, which is kind of nice. Is three books still, still a thing? I feel like this is probably fine. It's, it's acceptable now. It is yeah. Okay. There was some uh, some code change, I believe, from Checker from a while ago that, that made it possible. But you still won't see their feet overlap too often. Like, that could be cause for suspicion. But three at bookcase spaced out is totally fine now. Yeah, the bummer is, of course, we didn't get the um, uh, we didn't get the flirt. But consolation prize, we have a green microfilm, uh, a green test on the green microfilm, and we'll have that in hand for later. It is the easier of the two, usually, mm -hmm. unless a crowd forms next to the left statues, though. Yeah, that that is the easier of the two. So it's it's nice to have it, but could be difficult to get away with the blue. Maybe you take the blue look out and do it somewhere else, but it's such a huge time investment. Indeed, indeed. Um, so right now we're just kind of waiting for them to settle down, uh, for ST to settle down. We're going to have to jump over here pretty quick. We're going to settle for a cross-conversation, so we know we're going to have a pretty weak flirt here. Uh, so 23%. Uh, basically, we need a green test on the last of these two just to make sure that we um, get relatively close and add up into it. But I don't think we're going to get too worried. The problem, though, is we're I don't, we should not stay here in timer flirt unless we really yeah. think that we can start accumulating... Um, uh, pressure on another spy because right now the party is like right now if i'm looking at the spy side or sorry sniper side uh there's like nothing really happening um for sniper to be worried about oh and da bails okay this is okay this is a test of my intuition about beanie which is that we might actually have to go pretty aggressive now because we we have not all of our fault um uh we've kind of fallen behind that said as you probably saw lavanuk is just yeah just um uh, 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 safety doff on a couple different people, and we are requesting a drink right here. Yeah, this so. should be a contact purloin. Unfortunately, I think it's going to make uh, general out, but we're not actually going for the contact first. We just went for... Interesting. 
Uh, I think this means that Beanie may have switched their mind and is going to go for a frame. Because that was definitely an opportunity for a contact into Purloin. Uh, it was a fingerprintable drink, so we went for that. And we get a cough as we go for the contact. Uh, Lavenu didn't see exactly who it was, so instead goes for the safer lowlights, and Beanie oh, gets low lit on the split. Yeah, that is that's very unfortunate. So this is a really weird game because, hey, like right now, obviously we're low light, we're going in. I still don't know if we're gonna win though because we have so oh. little time. Oh well, actually, there's also this could happen. Oh, I actually thought okay. that shot had already gone off. Yeah, same. Yeah. <laughs> okay, uh, so not enough time to actually pull this through. Like flirt doesn't matter here. You don't have enough time. Yeah. It's got to be a contact. Yeah, why even flirt though? I mean, unless yeah, you're even, go even requesting right now is not enough. He has to add time here. He can't even put three missions together right now no. unless something crazy happens. He's so. gonna go for the contact, which I just I don't think you get. I don't think you do. And oh, the no. DA builds again. <laughs> yeah, That's the worst luck. All right. Yeah. yeah we're gonna have a desperate fake like three seconds left. Yeah. This is that, this has been such a weird game. So uh, uh, we almost safetyed off. Like we safetyed off on three different people that game from Lavanuke. Um, Beanie was actually playing a little bit slow in the first half, then actually did get a little bit of um, uh, 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 the DA bailed once Beanie decided to actually go for the DA. He was in that conversation, that I agree with you. It looks like um, at first when he requested, um, we were going to go for a BB Purloin, which mm -hmm. actually might have been set up nicely because I think Cowboy might have been like kind of near in that chain. Um, but this is this to me is strange because we're not even close to four missions not even close no um and like we we were not this i am hopeful that beanie does not feel as flustered after this because this to me like feels like there was just unclear thinking in the last 30 seconds from beanie we almost got just bailed out for no reason if we had even just done a banana bread any banana bread you know like like earlier on there might have been a shot because there's like a lot of suspicion out there yeah, I think Beanie, maybe after getting away with the white microfilm, should have thought it's it's possible that I'm low lit because I didn't get shot on a white microfilm with no cover, but hard to say. Oh, I need to update the scoreboard. All right, hold on. Yeah, hold and on. I, I, of course, there was also the cough, and that that can just be like... <laughs> when, you, when you do that as spy, like, it's really hard to shake the feeling like I'm just like despondent, I'm just going to lose, whatnot. Just play right. out the rest of the game. You never know. Like And like in that case, like... Coughs are seriously not a death sentence the way that um, uh, 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 ever bad moments like clanking or something mm -hmm. could be. Although actually clanking sometimes ends up not being as bad as people think. So I guess you just amend my advice. Just obviously just play out the rest of the game because sometimes you will actually be in the weirdly good position a minority of the time. But sometimes you just randomly salvage the game because at that point we were actually home clear pretty much because that was a hard low light on us from Lavinix's perspective. Yeah, we'll see how Beanie responds. Um, hoping to get a sniper win here. So uh, we've got Lavanuke on wheels in three, two, one, play. And it's interesting because from Lavanuke's perspective, they're not going to feel super comfortable with that last game either. I think. Like, I don't. Basically, I don't think either player came out of that feeling great about it. I think Lavanuke is happy that they got the win off that one, but I think that they were better. nervous that whole game. Yeah. Low lighting the spy incorrectly. Um, well, I suppose that's kind of always incorrect. And we have a phantom swap into a shot. Or they yeah. thought it was an animation break. Yeah, and uh, I mean, so uh, classic kind of stuff here of you might as well wait. Like if you're not a hundred percent sure, and there's like that's the kind of thing that you you're not gonna be a hundred percent sure on, right? So let's see. So we had him go over statue, and I guess yeah, I guess we must have thought it was an animation snap. Um, I, or, I'm thinking it has swap. to be Phantom Swap because the animation looked fine. But yeah, that's I mean that's a case where um, you just wait to see if maybe more is done by the spy because even if they got that swap, like they're not winning with that swap, right? So uh, you just you wait a little bit, you continue to watch them, and you make them show you more missions, and then maybe take the shot later just to be safe in case you are wrong. Yeah. So I this is. I, I'm gonna emphasize here. This is actually very unlike beating these first two games. Like I do believe in them that they could come back, but they are, they seem flustered right now. I know it's not always the best to kind of get into their headsets. They're you know, like every once in a while, just like two bad games can happen back to back and has nothing to do with their mental state. But it just it just doesn't feel like beating right now. So uh, yeah, it is a good opportunity for Lavanuke though, and I'm really interested to see if they can um, 
deal with this fact that they've kind of been kind of gifted two games in a row very easy games for them and then what do you do with that kind of advantage yeah let's see if beanie can pull it back as uh boots on veranda here in three two one play and oh, oh i like this play this is a cheeky i'm gonna stop and do a green purloin in the time of chaos nails it uh possibly a bug here goes for it but it doesn't stick I like this at least as like not only is it like a, a, a nice use of Time of Chaos in um, Veranda, but it's a nice way to hopefully maybe get your swagger back, right? Yeah. And like yeah. right now we're actually we're actually micro. acting with a lot of confidence right now. Yeah, this is very much like a rush type play. Like we just grabbed the green microfilm uh, out of the green book. The guest list is gone at this point. I'm not sure if Lava Nuke has even noticed it, which is not good for Beanie. Like Beanie right now is going to be hoping that the sp that the sniper is still reacting to the microfilm being gone. And um, I don't think that they noticed the it. Yeah, and so uh, at this point, they might notice pretty soon here that, that it's gone. Because I agree, like, one thing that happens is uh, uh, Veranda spy wins are uh, obviously, there. there's not a ton of Veranda spy wins relative. Like, there's plenty, but uh, Percentage -wise. At, at higher levels, you have to get the other person shot. And so actually, you're right. Like, noticing the being more confident in the. Um, the chain is actually like a better option for um, for Lavanuk of like really narrowing it down incorrectly to a low number of um, uh, spies would be great mm -hmm. for uh, Beanie. And I'm not sure why Beanie goes to this position. This is a very useless conversation for Beanie unless they're just idling before they head into blue bookcase um, or waiting for this fingerprint. So th that's going to be what I suspect they do here. Um, I think was that a little bit of a laser shake to show frustration? That was yeah, it was a ton of shaking from. Yeah, I think that's new. actually that's actually kind of maybe a little bit bad for them um, because it it signals to Beanie that the sniper is confused, right? And Beanie doesn't know that yet. Beanie could be like very well suspected. So yeah, it seems like it's like I, I think they were saying, which is like sometimes you can do little laser shakes. It's really hard to tell the shake happened as um, a spy. Uh, I mean, do a shake of their own. Um, this is weird. Uh, uh, but, like, that that shake was, like, really shaking across the screen. I mean, that said, it would be great head games if you're able to do a shake, like, oh, I'm so lost and <laughs> to do something. I, I don't know if I've seen someone react to laser like that yet. Because that's the that only kind of direct awesome. feedback you can give in game. Yeah. I like that idea. Maybe we'll see that now that we've mentioned it. But in the meantime, Beanie uh, finished off the transfer microfilm at the blue bookcase. Has not done any flirting. So with a minute and 40, we've really got to go get some flirts done. And it, it looks like Beanie is trying to work on just that and chasing down their seduction target. Um, really needs to hit a green, I think. Needs to get a 51% on this, but uh, it only picks up a 40%. Decides not to chase directly. Doesn't instant talk, so they're not wasting any time. Um, I, I don't think they're going to timer flirt this. And we have a shot onto... Is that Smallman? I was in Smallman. Uh, no, it's the, it's oh, the tall Disney. Smallman. Yeah, the, the guy at the same guy looks at basically tall Smallman. Man. Yeah, so let's see. So uh, let me see if... So that was the drink taker uh, on the Purloin, it looks like. Interesting. Oh, actually, okay. no, sorry. No, I, I, am, I am wrong. The drink was gone by then. I think by the time uh, we, we caught it really late, the, the they took a drink late in um, after the Purloin. So... I think Lavenu completely missed the Pearl Lane, at least until that banana bread timing around. And then um, Disney was in there. Oh, actually, you know what? Disney got, I think we didn't notice that Pearl Lane for forever. We just started highlighting drinks, I think. So check this out. Disney was in the same position from about the four minute mark all the way to the two minute mark. So Disney like did nothing for a giant portion of the game did take a drink around the purloin time so you could think that but pretty much stood in one spot talked a bunch took a drink and then went and touched a statue so like definitely not enough to be winning the game but it's veranda there's a lot going on hard to notice yeah and this is actually one where it's like uh i i even though i am most maps i am a um, statue highlighter this is one of the reasons why i actually really think statue highlights if you're lost on veranda statue highlights are great because they have to visit two different sets of statues. Mm -hmm. And if you are really actually worried about inspects, like the fact that there's actually not a ton of inspect finishers on Veranda, um, right. if you actually watch it out. So it's, yeah, anyways, I, I, the clear thing is the first play that Beanie did really did confuse Lavanuk. Um, 
So that ended up just being what got the win at the end. And this time we actually gave enough of a reason for Lavanuk to shot because Lavanuk was mm -hmm. nervous that first game, but there's just no BB, no hard toe was showing, and then this game we gave him both. Yeah, we'll see if Beanie continues to to abuse the kind of jumpy shot there. Um, Lavanuk jumping in a small minute, the green bookcase, good starting spot in three, two, one, playing it. And then, oh, we're, okay, I was going to say, I, I, oftentimes after, because it kind of feels like both, um, Double both players are trying to get their groove back, uh, mm -hmm. and they'll do something aggressive. And so I was disappointed at first that I was hoping for like maybe a microphone or something like that. But we do actually go for a slight aggressive play of double time ad right at the beginning. Yeah, and you always love to see the double time ad into not using the time that you just added. <laughs> yeah, just and that's the thing about idly. Brandon is I, I, I'm trying to think in my head, and maybe, maybe you'd have thoughts on this. I'm trying to think of the maps where time ads are either more, way more important or less important. I think Veranda might be one of the least important uh, time ad maps. Where if, if I had to just go in blind, knowing that time was added as sniper twice, and I just wasn't going to know who, I think Veranda might be at the very top of my list of, okay, that's fine. I'll be able to deal with it. Yeah, I haven't thought too much about that. I will say that on the opposite end of the spectrum, the ones where like time ads are very detrimental to the sniper is the new version of pub where like so many people can finish, but it's still actually hard for the spy to get a win because the time is so low. If the spy has more time on the new version of pub, like they're just gonna win a bunch. Agreed, yeah. No, a lot of the sniper arcade, yeah, ones, because it's like, uh, uh, like you're saying, which I actually really like as far as an opening gambit where, uh, oh, here we go, yeah. So let's see if Beanie's able to pull out uh, Right now it's offering to a SDA, so I don't know if we've seen it yet. I don't think we've seen it. It's one of those double-edged swords of when it's offering to an SDA, we're not actually paying much attention. Okay, here come the low lights. Okay, I think we're, I think yeah. we're getting a big narrow down. We did gulp, we're kind of sneaking away. Smallman is just so good. He's literally just blending in with the crowd as it's moving. So I, I don't know if Smallman's even been noticed. Yeah, no, it's, it's interesting is uh, uh, if Smallman was noticed in the in the Pearl because like Smallman is cursed with one attribute and that is the um, kneel down by um, Toby. So I don't know if right. uh, Beanie just automatically like like oh no, it's like oh I don't even care about conversation position. I know Smallman was one of the people uh, in in Purloin at some point because Toby was kneeling down. So, yeah, I, I, I have a feeling that was missed, and I, I did not even see when Smallman inspected. I know it was a bit earlier, but, like, I didn't even notice Smallman inspecting, because I've mostly been on sniper cam. Yeah, um, so we have this interesting set. So, uh, one of the big benefits of Veranda Time Ad, I think, like, maybe the main benefit in my mind, because generally snipers just don't really track flirt, uh, there are more fingerprints, is... You're gonna have more, so there's a window in, um, okay, we're gonna red. have a red banana bread, so I'm gonna stop here right quick. Uh, actually, not not super deadly. It's gonna give off one low light, which is Problem bad is in the fake. sense there's so few people, but yeah. Like, it, 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 it's a fake one, which is just kind of hurts. Like, if it was a red reel, then yeah, whatever, but a fake one means he's gonna have to BB again, most likely, looking at this mission progress. That and there is um, everybody uh, was in the same conversation that's not low lit, and yeah. there's no DA in there, so uh, I think Beanie knows it's a fake, so it is actually looking kind of dire for um, Labanuk. Um, but anyways, so with the extra time, you have more second sets of statue visitors, uh, where mm. they're, the snipers, the, the, the time of the Veranda game, where there's going to be some people visiting statues that have already inspected and you're like really worried about a, um, a swap threat. Like actually right now, what's exactly happening with Beanie, where I do not think Beanie's confident about small men, but, oh, well, I lied. He's confident enough to take the shot. Yeah, that's, uh, I can't tell if that's a very confident shot or a very like, shit, I don't know, and someone might be finishing and I need to shoot. I, I think it might be the latter, um, but I could very well be wrong. Like we didn't even, swap didn't even go off. Yeah, swap didn't go off. Um, uh, uh, there just might have been enough like lining up where I mean, to be fair, like uh, the other people in that conversation circle that were not highlight, um, were doing like, just nothing. Like I guess teal was a highlight from something earlier on, but I guess that's partial inspects. Um, yeah, just just not that much. After you get it that lowered down on veranda, there's just so little you're looking at. So beanie also. Had so little to look at that they might have been able to start tracking other things like, all right, is this person actually moving around and flirting? Is this person actually doing anything with this time? And also maybe they're starting to remember, hey, it's actually been a while. 
none of these other player, none of these other AI have ever been to Windows, and I know that Smallman just kind of does that sometimes. I'm just like going to Windows and adding time. Yeah, and we're actually all tied up if my counts are correct. We are indeed. Yeah. Let's find Plane Twin. Here we go. So Lavanuk starting out with the lead, but Beanie pulls it back uh, through Veranda, and we're at two two. Heading into high rise, uh, I've got Beanie on plane twin near the ambassador. Let's see if the bug goes off. In three, two, one, plan it. All right, so we have this potential for a bug. We're kind of poking it out now, but we're eventually not going to take it. Looks like. Stab um, on oh, the spy actually, pad. we didn't take. Yeah, we 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 actually weren't even on control. Mm -hmm. um, so one interesting thing is that we have we have chosen out of the two uh, of swap and microfilm, we've chosen to include microfilm. I would say most of the time I, I am strongly in the favor of swap on this, but I will say that Lavinuk has kind of shown that they haven't been catching microfilm. Um, right. That's been like one of the strengths of uh, Beanie's game so far has been microfilm has been gone off pretty smoothly in all of the games. Uh, so might just be throwing a little bit of um, something out, out there. And we are actually going to the bookcase right after. Yeah, we actually picked up a center statue, but we single cycled and we did it and got one inspect and a 34% flirt. Um, it'll be it'll be interesting if we actually go for this transfer, knowing that we're likely under suspicion or highlight because we went to center statues. Uh, so I'll be interested to see. Certainly, we wouldn't just microfilm right in the open like this, right? I don't think so. One of the weird things is we actually had more of a rotation than we normally see from sniper. It, it, that period has kind of ended where we both had Toby and and we were rotating actually kind of a lot. Um, I was gonna say. We, I would agree with you. There's like no way we microfilm that position. Even a green microfilm should be death in that point. Um, ooh, we do actually catch Lavanuk out on a rotation where the angle on us was actually pretty good. But because Lavanuk has been pretty honest with his rotations, we kind of know that he wasn't looking at uh, what we were doing because of the reasoning behind why they're rotating. They weren't rotating at a better angle at microfilm. Yeah, and we, we pulled the blue out. Uh, we have another laser shake. So Beanie at this point has an opportunity to go for a silent high rise uh, if they finish inspect and finish microfilm. However, I'm a little bit concerned about them finishing up flirt with this little time left in the game. Yeah, Beanie recognizes it and ends up going for the contact as one of the missions. And we've got a safety off on Alice and on Twin. Takes the shot on top. Oh, and no. it's the shot. Yeah. Uh, I want to check one thing real quick, which is, is that past the 10 second window? Because it's past the 10 second window. That's a bad shot. It's like, it's a, it's a shot you might as well wait for. So we take the BB. Yeah, it was. Um, oh, actually, no. I guess technically it wasn't because the uttering, uh, the contact actually didn't start until 133. So 122. No, no, it was actually. Oh, I guess it depends on whether or not. It's the game clock. Uh, so real quick, this is just for people in here. If you are kind of like banking on the shot, either you hit that before the 10 second window on the contact and you actually st you strike for that contact, or if you miss that 10 second window, then just wait. Just wait for anything else, because um, you might as well. You miss the window to actually shoot for a finish. Yeah, I, I think their Lavanuke just wasn't confident in the shot. I think that was the, the situation. Um, because they had some laser shaking as well. And that said, for... they almost pulled it back, though. I mean, like yeah. they they were they were torn between. I have, I actually don't know why why we were suspicious unless we thought we might have seen the microfilm, but we hadn't visited another shelf yet. So it's yeah, we we uh, Lavanuk actually might also just be grabbing. Actually, no, uh, 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 Ponytail did visit Blue Bookcase um, uh, early on. I don't think either one of them visited the other Bookcase, so. So that's interesting. So I guess maybe Lavanuk knew that we were going to visit bookcases. It might have been like a behavioral thing of knew that we were going to visit blue, a bookcase. There was one of these two people, and we were just like committing to a shot. But if we knew that, we mm -hmm. might as well wait a green bookcase. Yeah, I, I don't think they, I think they were pressured and just like took a shot on someone that they were suspicious of. I don't think they thought, you know, too, down too many of the, the paths of possibilities there. But we'll see if Lavanuke can pull it back. Still an opportunity for a spy win as Irish in, th oops, in three, two, one, playing it. There's also, of course, the possibility that um, by the time we saw both of them at Blue Bookcase, we were worried about them already. 
accidental low light there for a second, almost disaster, but we bring him back up instantly. And Bini get, or Lavanuk gets an immediate 51% clear, which they are liking. They're doing a little nod. I'm also, it's good to know, because sometimes people shake happy. Like, usually up and down yeah. is happy, side to side is unhappy, but some people actually just shake for any reason, and they actually don't do it. But it looks like Lavanuk is honest with side to side, unhappy, up and down happy. It's an interesting observation. I haven't thought about it. I guess it's the up and down that's like a nod, like nodding. Yeah, it's it's usually just kind of like a yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, although sometimes, like uh, this, I know this is not really in the game, but nothing really is happening. There's the circling with um, with sniper, which is very happy. Circles drawing is usually I know exactly who it is, and I'm just gonna like <laughs> might as well just wait for them to get shot. We get the cross conversation flirt, so now we only need one more. Pretty much most distances will do it. Uh, and we are looking around to see uh, moving around the party, but there's just not all that much being offered up by the party right now. The guests aren't really doing stuff. We might be tracking conversation shifts between the two of them. Um, there's a bit of bouncing around by Ambassador back there, so there might be a little bit of suspicion. I guess, no, Pony has a book. I don't think we're too worried about that book then. We have microfilm and fingerprint off. 98% on the flirt. It's unfortunate. Not happening. Now about we got that. some we got some spins. I'm I'm spent oh yeah, that ninety eight percent. Yeah, I think we did need to move obviously one more time in here. Oh we're just gonna purloin. Okay, so yeah. now the question is basically whether or not we throw off a um oh, we missed Pat. Oh no, but we're we're like not on screen at all because of the curtain. So I think that was a I think that was a little bit of a rush purloin. Like they're just frustrated that they're behind and they're just gonna throw something out. Beanie has definitely seen the guest list going missing, but it doesn't appear that they know who. Yeah, and actually they could have, like, we are, there is nothing going on over here as far as being in Lucas. We could have done, uh, uh, I guess that's right, microphone's off, so that, that's all live, but we probably could have swapped and left by then, but it wouldn't have been a finish, so it wouldn't probably have been a bad idea. Yeah, pretty high risk, right? 98%, you can flirt from anywhere and finish, and then all you need is a contact to win. So we're in a pretty pretty good spot to win. Uh, here we in enter mission win countdown, and the sniper's just still reacting to some low lights. Three, two, one, and that's a spy win. Yeah, I think that Beanie was a little bit... Uh, so uh, pretty clearly, we were not in the big pool of suspects for that purloin. So that's great news for Labanook. Uh, and then the other thing is, I think we thought it was Smallman, and then Smallman being out for the BB threw us for a loop. I think that we probably had multiple top suspects, all of which got knocked out by the BB. And because normally after that point, if you see Purloin and Contact on high rise, you will probably feel forced to shoot. Um, yeah. Just because at that point in the game, you probably think uh, uh, Seduce has been finished up. So um, um, no shot coming off is a little surprising. That should be 3-3, three, three, right? We had a, a Civ shot on the last one giving Beanie the point, so it should be 3-3. Three, three? Uh, let's see. So we had Beanie getting swept, Beanie sweeping, and then last game, um, uh, uh, oh God, I have terrible memory. What happened last game? Oh, I yeah. Think uh, he shot Alice. Shot. Shift got shot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. I had the scoreboard wrong. Yeah, so, I, okay. I should be caught up now. So we'll move on to Aquarium with Beanie as Teal, as some call them. Uh, Beanie as teal. There we go. All right, let's see what pans out in three, two, one, planet. And I would say this is actually very wild. It's kind of set because this. Uh, one of the things is if these were both just straight up new players, it's exciting just because you're like you never really know what's going to happen. But it's also like when the games are going this kind of like strangely as far as like okay, no one is feeling extremely confident or they're they're they're. The things they're trying just aren't totally working out for them. It means there's just like a lot more options. Like they'll start feeling like, okay, what I'm doing isn't working. I'm gonna get a little bit more desperate or I'm gonna try something new. And that can be really fun. So I'm kind of hoping mm -hmm. that something like that happens. Yeah, nothing has happened. Uh, nothing too crazy thus far uh, for this particular round. Beanie started out with a 46% flirt. Oof, goes for a timer flirt. We've we got- really yeah, Sorry, we had really early off. flash off. Yeah, and and not for much. Like, and it was interesting. It's still so strange because there's all these head games where like 
the snipers are like one step behind Spy. Uh, uh, Beanie actually tried to rush that briefcase behind Shark. Um, at the very beginning. That was like their big aggressive play, but they got beaten to it by someone. I actually forget. It might have been um, Boots. Um, and then the second the person red. that picked it up after them, because they did not actually go for the next pickup, I think was Papa Danger. And it was out of a weird spot in the conversation circle, and so maybe it looked strange to Lavanook. And now, for some reason, Papa Danger's in the top of the list. Yeah, where he had it a... actually is right. Uh, Papa Danger had a, a, a kind of a shark possible bug. So there's a bug credit because he was standing next to the ambassador uh, for the bug at one point. So I, I think it's a bug credit. Um, and then obviously taking the briefcase. Gotcha. Well, Beanie seems pretty set on fingerprinting because they've been trying to go pretty hard for fingerprints. We take a normal path out of here and we are probably going to settle in the front. We keep visiting the front. I would say, okay, so this is just looking at my own games on Aquarium. If you end up at the front window pads twice as spy you are flailing around you're not doing anything and i i end up at front window pads just because i'll start taking paths become indecisive and then just end up at the front and it's because it's just you just don't want to be spending enough time at the front of aquarium there's nothing to do you're not even the time at up there just get out of there yeah you know it's interesting because i sometimes forget that those pads even exist i don't feel like the ai visit them that much outside of the start of the game they don't like uh uh so there's they, AI I just have, I actually don't know the weighting behind like what pads they visit, but they don't tend to visit many of the window pads at all. And I think that's just because there's so many pads on aquarium in general that are weighted better for um, for visits. I know that there's better weighting for like, conversation circles than at the random spots, but mm -hmm. um, yeah, I, I and I think there's something where it's like intuitively as players, or I think we're gonna go for a second fingerprint here. It's like hey, more space means more capacity to visit. Shot on um, danger. And there, there's just the shot on Papa Danger. I think we were worried about a shark walk, I'm guessing, in here. Yeah, we. I think we, we thought a shark walk was just about to come off. Um, and so Beanie's able to get a win out here. Uh, to be fair now, this is probably Beanie's best spy game so far. We actually had a plan. We were gonna We were going to finish. I'm not sure with what, but I think that Beanie was showing enough control under spy that we probably could have gotten something like a sh uh, bug behind Ambassador. Uh, or sorry, bug behind Shark. Mm -hmm. I think we would have been okay. So Beanie was actually, Beanie was in control of this game. I think was doing fine. But we do actually just end up having a wrong shot. No idea what would have actually would have happened. Yeah, bailed out a little bit there. Um, so we're going to have Tex. All right, so 4-3 with Beanie in the lead. Lavanook stepping in as Tex in 3, 2, 1, playing it. Quick take control into a flash flirt for 51%. We are going to bail, which I love to see that. And it looks like we're going to head to bar. There's been only one other bar visitor, which is the double agent. So wouldn't probably be wise to send out an actual delegation. We start nodding because I think we thought Ambassador was going to come visit like right next to us at uh, at uh, bar. But uh, no luck, because I think we knew we would have gotten like three bugs to that. Um, I think this is just an old bar highlight. I think it's yeah. just there's been so little to track, so I don't think this is too dangerous. Of course, it will be very dangerous if we actually send this delegate, though. Oh, we wanted that briefcase, so we are upset that the briefcase got taken because we were going to use that as a way to get out of the, um, the conversation as well. DA does join us, though. It's not... I mean, well, actually, right. no, this is settling into a little Split. bit better for BB. Yeah, I think we wanted to do a delegate briefcase split, but we end up going for the contact split. Um, does not net us a low light, and we are still a highlight for having the drink from the bar. So uh, I, I actually, we'll see if we get brought back down. If we are left as a highlight, we're in a lot of trouble. If we're brought back down to neutral after the timer expires, it's okay. Yeah, and I agree with you where it's one of those fun situations where because... Um... Uh, bar highlights are the most temporary of highlights that we have. There's actually this fun thing of like testing. We can expect to either be brought down or not. And the fact that either one of those like not being unhighlight will actually tell us something where it's like, if you're just doing like inspect highlights, it you can just you can expect for some. Oh, there it is. There we go. So we were actually in pretty good shape then, um, because you're right that that split either could have been read very suspiciously or apparently not as much suspicion at all. We might not even think we have credit. Yeah, back over to another window pad. I'm hoping we actually do add time here. Um, we do have Seduce done. I guess I'm not sure that we actually need the extra time. Two minutes is a bit of time if we're going to go for a hard sell. 
Uh, some indecisive pathing there, which actually looked quite suspicious if the sniper had been watching it, which I don't think that they were. We're going to cross the venue. We considered going for the briefcase, but small man beats us to the punch. So we're going to step in next to wheels and pick up a fingerprintable statue. Yeah, we were looking across the venue for this one the entire time. It is still something where it's, it's, it's a little bit after the ambassador visited, but we started leaving for it pretty much as soon as it was available. But I don't think it's going to be too credit for us, especially since we went next to another person. So, yeah, uh, so we have the potential, if Ambassador happens to drop a fingerprint a statue, of only getting this done in one. So we definitely need to be watching where they're going right now. It would be lovely if they go to, uh, I think they are too. Yeah, yeah. so, yeah, we're going to be locked into this statue just because it would be amazing to do that now. Of course, going to two, inspe uh, uh, two fingerprintable statues uh, at two different sets where you can do both inspect and finger, which is such a juicy spy play that if Beanie is caught on to this, they'll be very suspicious. Reject this string. Just reject it. Yeah, nice. but we got the okay. highlight anyways, unfortunately. And we could go briefcase, but I think the statue is the play because we need to hurry up and win. Um, yeah, I hate that we're highlit and picking this up now. Yeah, it's interesting because um, so we probably... I'm trying to figure out if the distance that we came we were obligated to pick up this briefcase and not do the statues. It looks yeah, like it's were. not going to be mattering though. Yeah, I, I think I think it's true, but I don't think Beanie, I don't think Beanie cares about that. And we're just going to come away with a win. So, uh, uh, I think Lavenu gets shot by certain players in that game, but it's a very well done game versus players that aren't watching things like basically, let's just say ambassador etiquette stuff and mm -hmm. gets nice missions in where we're not visiting some spot too many times and fix some of the pacing problems that we had. Yeah, I think there's a couple of good takeaways from uh, this for, for both players to learn. From Beanie's perspective, I noticed that Lavanuk visited the window pads between all of their mission site visits like pretty often. They'd like go do an inspect and then go to a window pad, then go to another mission site, then go to a window pad. And they were just using that to break up kind of their movements. It looked a little bit like Beanie could maybe catch on to it. And then Lavanuk gained some good information here in that they can go for a double soft tell like kind of win right like they just they did a very straightforward seduce contact and then i'm going to do two soft tells which is like a something you should try against a sniper in a match to see can they just mission track because if they if they aren't if you're able to get that kind of win through just keep doing it it's the safest option like a sniper needs to prove to you that they're capable of tracking the missions perfectly and not letting that kind of win through Agreed. And um, uh, 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 all, the, all the play on that was off shark. So it was none, mm -hmm. of, none of it, I don't think any of it used shark invisibility at all. And so right. that's an interesting meta play on Aquarium of just like throwing in, like you're saying, just like a straight up AI finish with no shark plays. Just like if the sniper, if the sniper is tracking shark as their main location of threat, you can just play off shark and Get something like that done. It can just happen. Yeah, Lavanuk could definitely pull out the same type of win condition here on Courtyard, right? Like, can they just do inspect and fingerprint and win? Um, we'll find out after Beanie takes their try as wheels in three, two, one, playing it. Yeah, we're just going to kind of settle in here. So um, this is like a... a, a also a great map to do that kind of testing on. Okay, we get a green test and we bail. And I think that's not gonna be seen at all. And it's gonna be actually really nice for us mm -hmm. that we're just gonna kind of like, we actually rotated in um, right at the exact same speed where we just basically start appearing at statues. Now, I don't know if Lavanuke, like some players after they get really good at tracking the normal parts of courtyard, actually start moving into knowing who can be done with flirt just by their movements around it. They don't do so much, not so much flirt pairing as much as flirt activity. Um, except for the people that are actually very good at for pairing. Um, and then, oh yeah, man, we were racing. This is great, actually. This is, I'm, I'm like to see the discretion. So, what are we, now, like, we really, really want to get something done quick, but normally at this point, you could just probably just go inspect swap. I guess we're just going to pro in. It's going to be a white test, but is the sniper going to shoot this early? Does the sniper know that the spy could have finished flirt this quickly? It doesn't appear that they're willing to take this shot. And a fake BB for style points. Uh, I don't think actually went through. 
but a, a uh, courtyard Russia spy, which is you know not typical. We don't we we don't normally expect a spy to be able to win a courtyard match. So good job. Yeah, that. and um, and not through not through inspect purloin because I think you're there's something exact right of like um, okay so if we get inspect and we purloin so we we banana bread uh, purloin um, and did inspect and we did both inspect and contact before purloin. So in a normally paced game of courtyard, those would come and like we the game would be a bit settled and we would know okay it's really important for me to watch this person for purloin because banana bread's gone off they're one of the inspectors right. it's been enough time in the game that seduce could happen I actually have to really watch this and actually maybe trigger shoot off of it but it was way too early to feel like that right where we were just kind of like analyzing the party yeah you wouldn't expect someone to be finishing at that point given those conditions you'd be like uh someone still probably has to do flirt at the very least uh to to finish it out but beating out those those quick two flirts uh, both green tests and really pull through with it so we'll see how lavanuk responds as disney in three two one playing it right by the ambassador but we start with a drink in hand and go the other direction oh and seduction target i was going to say we're going to use this conversation but seduction target happens to join in right behind us um, we're going to start with a little bit of a drink here, so we're not going to get an offer here, which actually might be for the best. Um, we actually might clear... Okay, no, Toby's going to pick before we... I actually don't even know what happens. If you start with a drink... I know Toby has some like decision tree about who to offer. If you start with a drink, does Toby care about that at all once you drink it? Uh, that's a great question for someone that is more of a nerd than me. <laughs> there we go. All right, we're gonna pick up this briefcase. Um, gonna, so this, like, actually, like you said before, um, uh, this Lavenue got found some success last game, just doing a pretty well-paced um, soft health game, and that's actually relatively easy to do on um, courtyard. We are gonna be bounced out of the statue. It's actually kind of a nice little AI move. I don't know if exactly we were expecting not to be able to pick up the statue there. But it's actually kind of nice. Um, and I think it was about well-timed as far as like how long an AI would come to um, bounce out. But yeah, uh, I, anyway, we could just do a soft tail finish on this one and kind of just test Beanie. Again, yeah, well, it's, at this point, it's not even a test, right? Like, we know that it works. But we're going to go for a swap. I have a feeling, okay, we were going for an off-screen swap. Uh, it is seen. We break animation to set it down, and we try to rotate away. Ah, uh, did Beanie just not notice? think we must have been so this is the thing about uh, uh so yeah yeah exactly just on the rotations okay okay no yeah okay i think something happened at least right uh by the way i would assume that toby's like order of who they're going to offer to is more dynamic so if you know you had a drink and it changes like i'm, I'm assuming it resorts after the, after everything changes yeah i would imagine so because like, i red. i'm never sure if like okay there we go because yeah. it's the uh, so we get the shot so I think that we were just being careful which is nice because Beanie mm -hmm. actually um, took a shot way too early so this is Beanie learning from the ball ballroom game at the beginning right which is presumably a, sw a phantom swap on Papa Danger and we didn't wait we just shot and I think that we probably saw that swap and maybe even the snap of the animation and we were just like okay we actually need to slow down for a second we're fine let's just wait for banana bread and then shoot right and then it ended up working out yeah, it's, it's kind of interesting to me. I, I don't understand why we went for swap when we already had uh, half a fingerprint disabled, right? Like, we could have just focused on inspect and fingerprint, which we knew was a viable option based on the previous rounds against, uh, against Beanie. So I think the swap was a little um, not, not the greatest call there. It kind of just gets you shot and didn't. I don't think we needed it. Yeah, and so, okay, so we should be at, okay, so, uh, six what are, four what are, what are, what are we at? Lead. Six four beanie. Six four beanie, all right. Well, um, okay, and then we're going to jump into, into pub. Yeah. The great equalizer. We'll see what happens. We've got beanie as Tex in three, two, one, playing it. Oh, I didn't even notice this was, this is shot, shot, shots. So this is a very slight variation on, um, on Snipe Arcade Pub. Uh, I can't, can't even remember anymore which way it pushed, but it it, it I'm pretty sure it pushed Sniper Arcade with like 15 seconds for a guest or something like that. Hmm. I'll have to look it up. Um, okay, we we happen to get a very uh, quick flirt. 
there's been like a, actually a bunch of like really great instant greens in these games uh, which have often led into rushes if they get them and then of course um, uh, uh, with Sniper Arcade uh, rushes are very interesting because you don't actually have that much time to rush but you have the ability to rush much quicker because there's only three missions ooh DA Bales that's going to throw a lot of water on our ability to um, just get something done really fast and have the timing work out. Yeah, flirt flirt is complete, which is actually pretty huge. Like, we could go get an inspect and then do a contact, and if we do both of those within the next 30 seconds, the sniper would be hard-pressed to take a shot. Yeah, exactly. Like, that's, like, one of the, the ones that has the most, like, kind of clear, hey, I know you've seen this mission progress on two missions, but I, I'm hoping that you're just going to wait for a second just because... It really does. Oh, we go for a twitch bug. I think that arm is seen. Yes, the arm yeah, indeed wow. is seen. Let's take a look at this bug again. Oh, it's the arm. The twitch bug looked like pretty good, but yeah, the, the ambassador leaving, um, the arm snapping back is just well on screen. That's unfortunate because the actual twitch bug itself like probably wasn't going to go noticed. So Beanie just needed to execute it a little bit sooner. That way their arm was snapping back before the ambassador's space was invaded and was forced to leave. Yeah, um, yeah, uh, uh, yeah, just, I think we just happened to be in the right spot at the right time as far as our rotation, and yeah, it looked like, um, uh, uh, it looked like we, we were looking where, uh, 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 ambassador was, which is not always the case on, um, on pub like that. Sometimes you just get away with it. Even just a standing bug, sometimes you just get away with that position. Yeah. So what are we at? We're at five six, so we're at five uh, six. Lavanuk needs this win to tie, and if Beanie makes it, then they win. Alright, simple enough. And definitely on a map that just anything can happen with it, so curious yeah. to see how it goes. Another plane twin round in three, two, one, plane. And this would be a big like uh uh this would be a big tie for Lavanuk. Um uh, if they're able to if they're able to get it done. Instant Ooh, red highlight and... what? Oh what Okay. What? Right. So, what was the? I'm surprised. What was caught? What was the highlight? Uh, well, so we have the red test uh, 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 time ad, but yeah, why? Why were we? Highlight? We got stuck on the door. We got stuck on the door. Did we? Did the sniper notice that? Door, stop. There's no way. It's very hard to notice the door stop there. That is oh. that is actually very weird. And like, this is very interesting. Enough. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. from the sniper's perspective, like, you cannot even tell if they stopped at the door. It just looks like they're walking because of the angle. So is it, like, the take control? Is there anything crazy within that take control? No, not really. Not, yeah, not really. And, like, the other thing is, like, I would be worried that, like, even if I saw a stop or something like that, I mean, it'd be, like, maybe the path got cut off or something, right? And it actually was a repath to, um, to Windows. I, I mean, uh, could it just be a highlight for distinguishing the twins and then we caught the red time ad? That's possible. You know, that's a good point. Because actually, no, I, I think you got it. Because I think the other twin happened to be mixed in there. Mm -hmm. um, but then again, still, like, on 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 pub? Like, now, if you if you always do that, yeah, I don't know. That, uh, I, I, th I like your theory of it's, it's um, highlight to distinguish between, between the two of them. Um... Uh, uh, and then we caught the red time ad. So obviously the red time ad is the thing that got us killed because um, uh, there was the beep on the time ad, which actually signaled that there was a time ad, which I don't think we would have noticed right. otherwise. And uh, uh, it obviously wasn't Irish. I think we even checked for a second. It could uh, be Smallman, maybe? No, not Smallman hadn't landed. It's a really confident shot. Uh, I wonder if Beanie's in check. I'm very curious about it. No, I haven't said anything, but... In any event, Beanie wins with like a crazy shot at the end to me. Um, yeah, yeah. And, and the other thing is those 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 confident shots. I'm I'm also surprised because I was I was just being like, hey, Beanie, good job on waiting on the swap confirm, right? Right. And right, then we right. take a kind of a strange <laughs> shot where it's like obviously they're not done, right? You could you could wait thirty seconds, and even on pub three of seven, they're not going to finish. Three. Like they could go inspect swap at a statue, and then I guess direct. Toby take and that's like the fastest you could do something or if ambassador happens to be nearby but even then like you got a little bit of time so yeah uh i i am very curious to know if it was a distinguishing between twin highlight or possibly somehow we caught the very slight uh, uh door door grab and then um 
time out to confirm. So yeah, the door grab seems unlikely because it was so hard to notice from the sniper's perspective. But a good match nonetheless. I'm gonna get the uh, the next one pulled up. So that's a seven five win uh, for um, for Beanie there. For Beanie. Yeah. Uh, so a good showing by Lavanuk still because like again Lavanuk has been playing a lot more and Beanie is a solid player. Kind of a wild set. The other weird thing about it is how quickly we took that shot. We almost missed shot onto Alice. Right. Like it's still weird to me that we took a shot that fast because we we flick shot, which sometimes is just like we think we actually have to shoot before they're gonna dance or something like that because we're not we're not gonna hover because we you can hover on most characters and not worry about them moving unless they're about to finish and dance. Um, which actually, I don't know if who, who else saw the earlier cast today, is exactly what happened to Opie, who hesitated like a half a second on a shot, and it was done. Uh, it was it was entertaining. 